Williamson County, I'm Carrie Hudson, and welcome to It's About You, an informational program about the classes, activities, and special events of the Williamson County Parks and Recreation Department. Well, as we sail through February, March, and a fresh new spring season are on their way. Even though we have had a few spring-like days this winter, I know we are all ready for some more sunshine, longer days, and the liveliness that spring brings. And to herald the beginning of the spring season, today we'll be talking about our annual spring craft show, as well as our arts and crafts open house events, Art Sparks. For years now, the Williamson County Parks and Recreation Department has been hosting a spring craft show the first weekend in March. This year marks the 19th year for this event, and we are looking forward to another great show. The 19th annual Spring Craft Show will be held Saturday, March 2nd from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. in the gymnasium at the Longview Recreation Center. Now that's located at 2909 Commonwealth Drive in Spring Hill. It's in the Wakefield subdivision next to Longview Elementary School. Spring into spring and choose from a variety of original handcrafted gifts, decorations, and home decor items. With nearly 70 booths on display, this is a one-of-a-kind shopping opportunity you do not want to miss. Our vendors have different types of things like textiles, including crocheted and embroidered blankets, baby blankets and bibs, hair bows, ribbons, children's clothing, even clothes for some of their dolls. We have woodworking vendors who do beautiful scrolled woodwork, um, wooden furniture, homemade bird feeders and bird houses. We have some excellent home decor items, including uh, recycled art, homemade candles, soaps, lotions, and lip balms, cookbooks, some beautiful custom paintings, and some of those we'll be looking at today as well. Um, we have purses, flower arrangements, wreaths, stained glass pieces, some lovely natural stone and bead jewelry pieces, plus some great homemade food items, fudge, jams, jellies, breads, and our best kettle corn vendor, all of this at the Spring Craft Show. The Spring Craft Show is free and open to the public, so we invite you to come down and spend the day with us. Door prizes will be given away throughout the day. The Easter Bunny will be stopping by for a quick visit at 1 o'clock in the afternoon to greet the kids, hand out a few Easter goodies, and pose for pictures. This is truly a family event that you do not want to miss. Our first guest today is Kelly Cole. She's just one of the many vendors who will be on hand at this year's Spring Craft Show. Kelly, thanks for coming in and joining us today. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. So excited about the Spring Craft Show this year and so excited about what you are going to be bringing to the event. But before we talk about your artwork, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, um, I am married and have two kids and um, I just kind of do the stay-at-home mom thing and paint. And paint, and then, yes. <laughs> and she says that so casually, oh, and I paint. Um, you might be able to notice behind Kelly, we have a couple of her larger artwork pieces um, on display. You do an amazing job with abstract art. Am I um, saying that right? Is it abstract, abstract art? Abstract, yes. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I was um, talking earlier, you know, when I first walked in today and saw your pieces, they immediately jump out and spoke to me. And I'm so jealous because I have nothing to offer the world that is that impactful. And oh you my. do a beautiful job at putting together some lovely pieces. Oh, uh, well, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Well, tell us a little bit about your interest in painting and kind of where this comes from. Well, it all started where I was trying to decorate my own home and I just wanted those pops of color, those splashes of color. Couldn't find what I wanted anywhere. And so I finally just decided it's in my head what I want and so I'm going to try to make it. And I'll be darned, I just made it. And from and there, there it went. Was, and from there it went and I, I just got kind of addicted and I couldn't stop doing it so I love that yeah. though you know oftentimes there's nothing better than what you can do yourself and, and it's a lot of fun it's it's a stress reliever and 
Um, it's just something I really enjoy doing. Isn't so. it though? Yes. I love it. The closest thing I get to actual art is when I color with my daughter. But I it love is the, the best. I mean, it's like <laughs> therapy for me, you know. It is. And m my daughter's over there trying to turn the page. And I'm like, no, no, mommy wants to finish this page. Yeah. Let's color some more. I'm always like, can't, can't I do this one and you do that one? And they're like, you know. Of course, mine are, mine are eight and ten, Kendall and Grant. And um, so, you know. I don't get a whole lot of coloring anymore because I do it myself <laughs> now. Yeah. So. yeah, I was going to say, you, you do it yourself now. You don't have to color a thing. Exactly. You do it yourself now. With paint. Well, so. kind of walk me through the process. You know, how do you come up with your inspiration? Where do you draw your designs from? Um, a lot of it is just color. I see color and I see, I kind of see art in everything I look at. I can see beautiful lines and beautiful shapes and beautiful textures and and these colors that are just you look at a flower and see a color you've never seen before and and I just think oh, you know and the color just pops out at me and and then the textures kind of it, the textures are kind of about the feeling mm -hmm. that that invokes in me and I think that that it just kind of comes from that and then it just flows I out kind of you onto the canvas exactly it just it i kind of sit down with a canvas and those colors that i'm looking at and um it just kind of flows it's like so that. organic i love that <laughs> well color and texture are two of the things that i noticed about your art yeah. the second that i saw it um, and we have several different pieces, you know, that we're going to show today because you do a wide variety of different pieces, different sizes, different color palettes styles. and styles and mm -hmm. things like that. There is a piece um, next to you that mm -hmm. I want to talk about first. Um, it's kind of a blue and green and I mean, if this just doesn't scream spring. <laughs> I mean, I love the colors in this. It's so Thank bright you. and vibrant and lively. Um, and um, I love how much color you're able to put into, you know, what is relatively a small, like what, like five by, no, eight by eight maybe, canvas, something like that. Well, I can I'm can horrible off the top of my head, but it's a little bit, yeah. I think maybe 11 by 16 or maybe. something like that. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, you know, it's a, a small square, right. but I mean, like you were saying, it's a pop of color. Right. It would brighten up any room. Right, um, and, and it's kind of, it's like say you have a small bathroom and and your walls are taupe and you know but you have the you know towels that are either the blue or maybe you have some yellow or these these colors. Well, maybe you're just a big old Tennessee fan and you love putting orange exactly. in every Exactly. Could be. And so this is kind of one of those where you're kind of too nervous to have bright yellow walls or you know that sort of thing but you can put this in there and it will bring out that color that you're trying to accent mm -hmm. and you just get that pop of color. Yeah. And, and it's, it's just kind of the attention grabber of the room. It oh, kind definitely. Of gives you a, a focus, something to look at, you know. And, oh, definitely. Um, it could go in, I mean, it could go anywhere. Yes. It could go in a baby's room. It could go in, you know, It's perfect just for about a, anywhere. Like a boy's room or even like when I was pregnant, we didn't know Ramsey's gender. Mm -hmm. um, and so we did everything very gender neutral exactly. and greens and yellows. And there again, perfect for that kind of scenario right, exactly. too. Right, exactly. Love it. Thank you. Um, and then talking about texture with your artwork too. Mm -hmm. I am blown away by what you do with paintbrushes. Um, and I will talk about the larger piece on the easel behind you there. Yeah. Um, kind of in those earth tones with kind of the silver metal kind metallic. of brought into it. Metallic. I love metallic. Yeah. Love that. <laughs> when I first saw that piece, I just knew it had to be layers of paper. And you're like, no, I just did that with brushes. Every, it's, every bit how of it's brush on or? earth? And each each layer um, or each color has a completely different texture um, and it's all done by brush strokes. It's all done with a paintbrush. So a lot of it looks like, that's what you were saying, mm -hmm. you're like, is that paper mache? And um, No, it's, it's all done with brush strokes, just different brush strokes. strokes. And, um, and, and that's something I love about it, just texture. And that's a piece that when people see it, they want to touch it. Oh, like, yeah. They look at it and they want to touch it. Well, it's, um, you know, touch it. Touch it's away. Because that's what's needed. You know, that's yeah. what makes it unique. Oh, my daughter would love it. She would be running her hands over that all day. <laughs> Texture's very good. It's varnished, us. so it's not, it's, it's fine to have you run your hand over it. So. That's so cute. Well, talking yes. about texture, too, I loved this piece. Let's see, make sure I'm presenting this in the right format. <laughs> so when I saw this, I immediately thought of my husband. 
Um, he works in the music business, mm -hmm. and so silver and black are very big music colors. Oh, yeah. um, he did road work for years. I'm like, black is their uniform when they work on the road. Right. Um, but, I mean, this would fit right into his office. Um, it's perfect. Like, all the stuff that they do in their road cases are all black and silver anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but it has this interesting texture on it. I mean, right. it's um, I don't know how you did this, but w what is the name of this texture? We were... Um, it doesn't really have a it name. It doesn't. It's just I cool. Just, we're just going to call it it's cool. It's just cool. Yeah, we're just going <laughs> to call it cool. But, you know, it has like these little dots on this, on it, you know. Um, yeah. But I love it because it's minimal. It's it's simple. You know, it's perfect for my husband because it's his two basic primary colors. Um, and, but then it has this interesting texture over it that sort kind of, of pulls you into sort it. Sort of rough, but yet um, subtle at the same time. Mm -hmm. Um, and this piece also is very similar as far as that same kind of texture. Yes. Where it's when you, you know, it looks kind of rough, but, but when you feel it, it's, it's not it's rough It's almost to touch. soft. And like it, you kind of just want to feel, stroke it. You, you kind of do. Yeah, you're you like, know. I just, you know, you would, it's one of the things that you would mindlessly do all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I'm just going to rub on this one. And, <laughs> um, and I love how all of your colors kind of blend together. Yes. Um, it was like when I first yes. saw. There's a um, lot of the blending of the yeah. colors in there. And, and I mix, um, you know, I mix colors together in the brush strokes, um, you know. I, I like to to make two separate colors come together in and in, in the brush strokes bring them into one in Meld a way. Meld them together. Right. Yes. Right. But they all have I kind of have that signature brush stroke, you know, that I use and you'll notice on on the um, black and red piece that if you look at it up close, you see a lot more than from, from a distance. Right. And I like that. I like I like when you see art and you can stare at it, I mean, because that's what I do, mm -hmm. but you know, I have that artistic gene, I guess, but I can just stare at it, and every time you look, you see something new. Right. And I love that concept, I guess, and so I think I think most of my pieces, I try to kind of implement that to, to where it's never going to be you're looking at the same piece all the time. Because if you really get to looking at it, you're going to find something you didn't see last time. But right, right. And it, that, that's kind of the interesting thing about art, when it can speak on multiple different levels. Right. Um, and still, something that I will never have in me, but I <laughs> appreciate to people you who can, can color, express. You can color with your dot. That's a place to start, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a place to start. Well, right. I have another piece that I wanted to show today, too. Because, again, the minute I looked at it, I was like, oh! <gasps> That would be perfect when when Ramsey gets a little bit older and she gets ready for her first big girl room. <laughs> like I love this. It has it has all the little girl colors in it: the pink, the purple, the green, and right. it's not one specific thing. You know, it's I I love how you're able just to take all of this color and make it into a piece of art without it being one specific item, without it being one specific form or shape or something like that. And see, again, with the interesting, it's just like, what is going on? But then when you look at it, you're like, wow, that's it. But my daughter actually has a lime green. I'm telling this color, this, mm -hmm. her room is lime green. So that kind of inspired it. But where on a lime green wall, you don't, you know, you're not even going to put it. that. Yeah. So something like that, you know, in the pinks and purples and mm -hmm. um, all she's the girl 10. colors. Yeah. So, so that something like that can bring out that pop of color, you know, much like the other one where it kind of brings it together, brings all those colors together mm -hmm. and, and makes it a, makes it all work. It's, it makes it, it all it work. It ties it all Very together. Good. It ties it together it and gives you that pop of, of different colors. You see the purples and the greens and the yellow and well, we are very sort of excited thing. to have you participating in the Spring Craft Show. Can't I'm wait to see to so. what all that you will have at the actual um, show at your Everything booth here. there. <laughs> Everything here. Plus, and I'm sure a lot more. more. Lots more. Um, really quick, tell us a little bit about your pricing. Okay. Because, um, I mean, I'm sure people are already intrigued by these pieces and well, they're I'm like, so. <laughs> how do I get that in my home? Okay. Well, I try to price them very reasonably. Um, I think it's it's kind of special to have in your home a piece of original art. True. Um, most people don't um, because it's so out of out of reach. You know, it's so 
So you try to keep this affordable. So I think I try to make it where they're priced where just the everyday folks like myself could actually afford to buy a piece of original art. So, you know, they they really vary in price where, you know, something like you just held up would be, you know, on the lower end Mm -hmm. because it's small and... Um, and I, I take into account the amount of, of time and work and cost of it. the supplies. Exactly. But where something like, you know, these pieces. A more of a statement piece is going to have, have a higher price. You know, there are layers and layers and layers yes. of texture there. Well, again, so we something are like really that excited more. to have you at the craft show. Well, we got to take you. a quick break. Okay. When y'all come back, we'll be talking more about our spring craft show and our other springtime special events. Kelly, thanks for being Thank with us. Thank you so much for having me. Too many of Tennessee's students drop out of high school. If you ask them why, you'll probably hear they just can't keep up because they don't have the reading skills. Success in school is based on success in reading, and learning to read starts with hearing words. With young children, storybook reading plays a special and important role. Uh, Great. What's the last word? Small. Good. Have fun with reading. Read the directions on the box and bake a cake together. Work with your child to cut coupons and make a grocery list. Read a book about different occupations. Then ask your child what they would like to be when they grow up. What about an eye doctor, just like your granddaddy? My eye doctor is much more. Um, He works with some glasses. Don't underestimate the impact that reading can have on your child's future. Choose success. Choose reading. This Choose Success moment has been brought to you by the Middle Tennessee P16 Council. Welcome back to It's About You. We're talking today about our 19th annual Spring Craft Show as well as some other springtime special events that we have coming up. Joining me for the second half of our show today is Darling Monk. She's the Recreation Specialist at the Longview Recreation Center. She's been planning our 19th annual Spring Craft Show and Darlene, kudos to you my dear. You are pulling off another great show this year. Kelly is just one of the vendors that yes. you are. You've got mm-hmm. about 70 that are participating in the show, mm-hmm. and that girl brings it. So I can't yes, wait to does. see what the 69 others are like. <laughs> oh, they're all wonderful. Uh, Carrie, we're just happy that uh, spring, it looks like, is finally going to be here for our show. Uh, we invite everybody just to come out and see all the other wonderful vendors that we have besides Kelly. Absolutely. An amazing amount of talent in our community mm-hmm. and some beautiful, one-of-a-kind pieces that they have at these shows. I yes. mean, like like all of the arts um, shows that we do throughout the year, we only work with vendors who make original handmade items. They're not manufactured items. So these are really unique shopping opportunities where you can find things that you just aren't going to find at any store around town. That's right. That's right. They're very unique. Um, like you said, you really can't find them at Walmart or any other place like that. So we just invite everybody to come on out and see, see and what we a, got. Yeah, have, get, come see what we got. Yeah. Have a good time. That's right. fun. <laughs> um, one of the other things, though, that's so always so special about our events is the amazing amount of community support that we get for these programs from local businesses in the forms of sponsorships um, yes. for our special events. And the Spring Hill community stepping up again one more mm-hmm. time. They always seem to come to the plate for you guys for the variety of special events that you do throughout the year. And you've got a wonderful wonderful long list of sponsors who are um, who are helping with the spring craft show this year and we want to recognize their contributions um, and their support of this event we have the children's academy mcdonald's of spring hill sports clips zen massage cracker barrel true roots nursery buffalo wild wings integrated health care and chick-fil-a yes we're thankful to all of our sponsors they add so much to our special events and Um, It's just so exciting working with each and every one of them because they're just excited to be um, a sponsor of our special events. Well, another aspect that is going to be tied into the arts or the Spring Craft Show this year is going to be an arts and crafts open house event called Art Sparks. Now, the department has an amazing arts and crafts program, and we offer a series of classes in Spring Hill at the Wonky Recreation Center, um, in Franklin at the Franklin Recreation Complex, and even in Fairview at the Fairview Recreation Complex. Um, And 
in the hopes that maybe the Spring Craft Show will inspire your own artistic trends. Uh, we're also going to be doing an Arts and Crafts open house in conjunction with the Spring Craft Show this year um, where you know we'll be able to put our Arts and Crafts program on display, kind of show people some of the different types of classes and programs that we have and how they can get involved in expressing their own artistic talent. Nice. Um, I love Arts Barks again because it's just one of those great community events where people can drop in and do so many different things. Um, just running through the things that are going to be going on at the Arts Barks event at the Longview Recreation Center, you guys have, I think, was it roughly 10 of your arts and crafts yes, uh -huh. instructors that are going to be participating? Mm -hmm. um, they're going to have an instructor art show where you get to see some of the professional pieces yes. um, that the instructors do. I am constantly blown away by the professional level of work our arts and crafts instructors do. They're great. My They're goodness. Wonderful. And I mean, they, they should be in museums. Yes. It's, it's amazing. Um, there's also going to be a student art show where mm -hmm. you get to see actually what what in what us what the everyday people uh -huh. produce through these programs That's right. and as a like I said earlier when I was talking to Kelly as mm -hmm. a person with no artistic talent mm -hmm. in her whatsoever mm -hmm. I am always blown away by the level of skill and talent that even our students have they produce some amazing pieces of their own in a variety of different forms and mediums because we offer so many different kinds of arts and crafts mm -hmm. classes um, and then probably the best of all, our Sticky Fingers Art Show. Yes, that is so precious. Isn't it though? <laughs> Love it. For those of you who might not be familiar with what Sticky Fingers is, that's our children's preschool art program. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we have a group that meets in Spring Hill as well as in Franklin. Yes. Um, and these kids get their own art show at Art Sparks as well. You know, we give it to the professionals, we give it to the adults, we give it to the kids. Um, and probably the Sticky Fingers Art Show is my favorite as well at this yes. whole event because just the amount of sheer joy and pleasure and just energy, I mean, energy that the kids have. And oh, proud. <laughs> These yes. kids are so proud. They're pulling their moms and dads and grandparents mm -hmm. through here like, look what I made, look what <laughs> I did. Um, and just having a great time being yes. able to express themselves mm -hmm. and, and show off their art. Mm -hmm. um, and then also in conjunction with this kind of you know overall art show and demonst um, demonstrations from instructors about their different art mediums and the different kinds of things that they do and they produce. Um, we also have some wonderful make it take it projects um, that that people can actually come to the event and do themselves That's so they right. can get a little mm -hmm. hands-on time with mm -hmm. art. Mm -hmm. um, really just some great things. Let's see for the Longview show um, a couple of our tenured art and crafts instructors at the Longview Recreation Center are, are going to be doing some free demos that day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Shirley Baker is going to be doing a demo for wet on wet oil painting mm -hmm. as well as manga drawing. Um, Deborah Nelson, who does a ton mm -hmm. of art programs and works a lot with the kids at the Longview Recreation too, she's going to be doing a demo and free make it take it project um, on Sharpie tie dyeing, uh -huh. which sounds like a wonderful mm -hmm. at home yes. project uh -huh. that people would love to do. We'll have displays set up for cake decorating, mm -hmm. wedding planning, and the magic of flowers. Yes. Um, you know, I know when I got engaged, I got engaged in November and we kind of took the holidays off mm -hmm. and then like, January and December, I really went into wedding planning right. mode. So I bet there are a lot of young future brides mm -hmm. who are doing that same thing as well. Art Sparks is a wonderful opportunity for you to see some of the unique types of classes mm -hmm. that we have. And you know, I know people might not always think of you know wedding planning classes mm -hmm. and things like that as an art and craft program, but that's just the that's just an example of the variety that we have through this program. The uh, cake decorating class I know that we offer at Longview is, is an excellent class. It goes through all the steps of making uh, a cake, even a wedding cake, mm -hmm. from start to finish. And any new bride, like you said, that's looking for cake decorating ideas or even flower arrangements needs to come to Art Sparks uh, on March the 2nd. Uh, to get some of the, the free ideas that's available there. Yeah, absolutely. Not to mention cake's great no matter what. That's right. <laughs> you know, cupcakes, cake pops, any way, shape, or form that you can bring me cake is a good way. That's right. We love that. <laughs> 
Um, Art Sparks is free and open to the public as well as the Spring Craft Show. Yes. Um, it's taking place during the Spring Craft Show hours, mm -hmm. 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yes. And again, that's going to be on Saturday, March the 2nd. Um, again, a wonderful opportunity. Both of these are, events are free and open to the public, so we mm -hmm. hope that you'll come out, um, spend some time with us, um, have a great shopping opportunity through the Spring Craft Show, mm -hmm. and we also have some wonderful door prizes. I know that you've been pulling together and working with yes. your sponsors mm -hmm. on getting, um, as well as the Easter Bunny, making yes. a special <laughs> appearance at 1 o'clock that day to pose mm -hmm. for pictures with all of the kids. Okay. And then the Art Sparks, the Arts and Crafts Open House, um, with our um, wonderful art shows for the instructors, the students, and the Sticky Fingers Children's Art Show, um, as well as free Make It Take It projects, demos from our arts and crafts instructors, plus just having them on hand to kind of answer your art questions, you know, right. kind of pick their brain a little bit, you know, um, about maybe some of your own questions that you have um, about different things like that. As, as uh, with the craft show, we have wonderful door prizes from, uh, one of our door prizes I have to, to tell you is a Zen massage, a free massage from Zen Massage. So make sure, um, like feeling that. a little, if you're a new bride, maybe in the June uh, month mm -hmm. or whatever, and you're feeling a little stressed out right now, come on down, register for one of our door prizes, and one of them is a massage from Zen Massage. Uh, but also Art Sparks has some wonderful door prizes that are given by the sponsors and the art instructors um, from Art Sparks. So yeah, come on down. We've talk. got plenty of free stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Day. Wonderful day to spend out um, talking about the sponsors for Art Sparks mm -hmm. again always have a, a tremendous amount of support from our, um, our local businesses in the community um, and we want to thank them, the Children's Academy, mm -hmm. Sports Clips, Jerry's Artorama and Sugar Drop Inc. Yes. Um, the Art Sparks event at the Spring Craft Show is mm -hmm. not the only Art Sparks event that we'll be having this spring. We'll also be doing one the following Saturday on March the 9th at the Franklin Recreation Complex from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. It is set up just the same as this as the Spring Hill event on March 2nd, free, open to the public, a wonderful way to meet and greet with our arts and crafts instructors, find out about all the great programs and different types of classes that we offer through the Parks and Recreation Department, plus see our amazing art shows and galleries, do some free make it take it projects and catch some demos um, by some of our art instructors. Information about all of these events is currently available on our website at www.wcparksandrec.com. Darlene, thank you so much for taking some time to be thank here with you, us Carrie. today. It's always a pleasure to be here to talk to you about it's our a special events. To talk to you. I love talking about them. We could do this all day. We, we could. We could. I'm really excited about them. Well, we'll, we'll have to meet again and okay. we'll talk about some Sounds more things great. coming up pretty soon. Another thing that we want to remind you all about as we close the show today, um, along with our great special events, Williamson County Parks and Recreation is also offering a great pass sale right now. Our 30 visit pass sale has been extended. Williamson County Parks and Recreation sale on all county 30 visit passes has officially been extended through the month of February. So don't miss out on this chance to save. Multi-visit passes offer general admission to indoor facilities at a discounted rate. And if purchased by February 28th, the all-county 30-visit pass is only $30. That's a 50% savings over the regular pass price rate, a 66% savings over single-visit general admission, and not to mention, people, this is 30 visits for only a dollar a visit. Multi-visit passes never expire and are transferable to other family members and friends, making them one of the most convenient pass options that we have. Visit passes unfortunately cannot be used for outdoor pool admission or for class fees, but they are available and can be used at any of our main recreation complexes, including the Franklin Recreation Complex, the Longview Recreation Center at Spring Hill, the Fairview Recreation Complex, and the Indoor Sports Complex in Brentwood. For more information about the extension of our 30 visit pass sale for any of our classes or our special events, including the Spring Craft Show and Art Sparks Arts and Crafts Open House on March 2nd, and the Franklin Art Sparks Arts and Crafts Open House on March 9th, again, you can visit our website at www.wcparksandrec.com. Thanks guys for joining us for today's show. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember Williamson County, it's all about you.
Oh, 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 oh.